I'm here today at the Royal Hospital of Neurodisability in Putney. Um, I'm here part of my job but also as a blogger and vlogger as well I suppose. Um, I work for a company called Reason Digital. Um, we're a digital agency that um, specialises in doing a little good with digital really. So we work with lots of charities and not-for-profits and I go to work every day knowing that I I'm making a difference which is probably all I could ever want really to know that you know if I've got to be away from my son at least I'm doing something to help other people and um, we're here today to do something pretty amazing actually for Brain Awareness Week and um, we're hoping to raise money for some eye gaze machines for the patients here at RHM so that they can communicate. So I'm sat here right now on a bench on the most beautiful grounds I've ever seen. The sun's shining and I'm able to just talk away to you right now and not even question it or think about it. Like the words are just coming out of my mouth and I can I can talk like this, I can I can text, I can tweet, I can communicate via Instagram, I can do all of these things and you know the, some of the patients here with locked in syndrome they can only communicate via this special machine called an eye gaze machine that basically tracks eye movement and enables them to just use their eyes to, to say and do a multitude of things and there aren't enough machines they're not readily available they're incredibly expensive and we're here to try and make a difference so this is just sort of a behind the scenes of the work that's gone into this and the people behind it and just I just hope that it inspires some of you to maybe give and donate and make a difference because I don't think I've ever ever <laughs> I don't think anything's ever mattered to me so much before it's really important to me so I hope you enjoy coming along on the journey with me. The Royal Hospital of Neurodisability is so much more than just a hospital like the rooms are beautiful people have a brilliant life here they do Well, it's about lunchtime here um, at the RHM. I'm doing the very strange thing of sitting on <laughs> on some stairs on a quiet um, stairway here, and um, I just had the most amazing morning. <laughs> I'm trying really not to get emotional because I've been working on this campaign and getting it together for so long that to finally see all the people that I've, you know, only communicated with via email and put faces to names and just see the work being done here, it's incredible. <laughs> Am I allowed to speak? Yes. <laughs> you might be waiting for a very long time if I talk. No, very well, thank you. Very excited to be here and learning more about all of this amazing technology. Do you want to tell Poppy what you um, your, your full title, actually. My name is Dr. Richard Bennett. I feel very disrespectful. I've just been saying Richard. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Bennett. Excuse me, my mum's not here. I watched a patient here, uh, Dr. Richard Bennett, um, who now has locked in syndrome, communicate with Poppy Dinsey, um, who obviously set up what I wore today. and to see them converse and make each other laugh using these amazing machines, it was just, I had tears in my eyes. I, I'm a big softy, but it was, it was amazing. Can you choose the hand that you did This camera lights action for us in here. I've just been filming lots of the influencers throughout the day, asking them various questions and it's been quite an emotional room to be in. Um, I've actually just answered the questions myself and 
really difficult actually to sort of keep a hold of my emotions. Like I'm just the sort of person that would probably cry on camera and I manage not to, but you just don't realise how lucky you are to have a voice and sometimes you waste your breath on being mean and unkind and you know we're so free with words we're so quick to find trolls on twitter and we're so quick to argue with our loved ones when we get frustrated but you know what if you only had a chance like for one time during the day to say something what would you say and you know, to only be able to say it with your eyes and have to go through all of the frustrations of, you know, the technology having to, you know, wait to register something or maybe, you know, you've, you know, it's not connected properly or something's in the way of the sensor. It's just all of these tiny things and you just think, I'm sat here now and I'm saying so much so freely and I just hope it counts.